Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm be showing you how to use the track mask feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you can see right here, we have something moving, but right over here is a blurred out box and it was tracked using Adobe Premiere Pro. So I didn't move the box one bit. It did all of that for me. And so that's kind of what we're gonna be talking about is how to use the mask track feature. And then in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you a really practical use, which is going to be how to blur a face with it. So let's just get started with this. Basically all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete the mask path right here, all of the keyframes, and you'll see that we have this box that I created. So I went into camera blur. Let's, let's start from the top. If I go over here and I go to camera blur, we can use really any blur. We can go to, let's go, um, let's directional blur. That sounds fun, we'll drop that on here. And then now if I change the blur, see it goes the entire piece of footage. But what I want is, let's say I didn't want this sign in here um, or any other thing. This is only gonna usually work with sort of a masked effect like this because it only works on tracking masks. So you kinda need to have something that you're going to mask out and you want it to stick to an object. Uh, blur is really one of the key features of this. So what I'm gonna use is a blur. We're going to basically just go up here into the directional blur and I'm gonna click this little pen tool and I'm just gonna draw one, two, three, four, and then finish it off right there. So there's four of these keyframes and let's move it down to so it covers up this sign right here. And then now I can just go up into the blur and I'm going to increase the blur length and you see that it blurs it out right here. And now it's unreadable. So if it was like McDonald's or something and we didn't want it to be displayed in our production, we can do something like this. But now if we move forward, it's just completely off. So we have a couple of tech techniques, I guess, that we can use. We can click the play button right here and it's going to mask forward every single frame. So if you see, if I start right here, it just starts tracking the frames. Now you can do this and hopefully it'll work. You can see though, it gets a little bit, of, a little bit sloppy right here. So if we move over here, you see that it kind of fell off right there. So what we can actually do is we can use this next, this track mask forward one keyframe button, and that allows us to get a more solid track. So if we go one here, you see that it goes off. We can drag it back into place here and maybe rotate it a little bit as well to get it back into alignment. And then just sort of go one at a time this way. And this is, but now you know, you're kind of getting back into manual tracking. So maybe you click play, and then every time you find a fault, sort of stop it and try to fix it again, drag it back to where it should be, click play again, and then over time from doing that you're going to get a solid piece. And you can see it'll start going off into the background, and then once it kind of loses the track, which right about there, see how it's kind of slipping near the end, it doesn't have anything, you just wanna edge it on, you just wanna grab it and just sort of edge it off right here so that it's off the, the footage. And now, after that, I mean, we, I. This was all in real time, what it took me, a minute and 30 seconds. Now I have this sort of blur going over the side right here, which is really, really neat because I've just blurred out a sign. And of course, you probably wouldn't use directional blur because it looks kind of crappy, but I just didn't want to use camera blur again. Um, but yeah, so we have this track going. You know, you can adjust any of the features. You can adjust the direction, which kind of looks neat. And then you can kind of feather it. I think feathering it makes it look really good. So um, if you want to make it a little larger, you can back or I mean, make the expansion go forward, make the feather just a little bit bigger as well. And then, you know, just kind of have control over it. And now you have a tracked mask on something. And so I just kind of wanted to show you that feature. It's right here under the mask path. You can use it to help yourself mask or track something um, and you know you could run this through and then go frame by frame so instead of having to move it all manually you'd have sort of a starting place you could go through now and look if there's anything off and if there's anything off just move it back into place and it'll still save you some time that is basically it on this tutorial really really cool feature just throw on a, a mask path and then go ahead and click that play button and it'll start tracking it for you. You can mess around with some stuff there's a, a settings a tracking method button here this is sort of a trial and error um, just try them out. If one of them doesn't work, go to the next one and see if that one does work. But other than that, that is basically this effect. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos every other day on Adobe related products, kind of focusing on Premiere Pro. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and those in the comment section below or and also suggestions for future tutorials, those in the comment section below as well. And until next time guys, see ya.